What is going on guys? This is the Black Talent 2. This is from Cold Steel. I was very excited to pick this one up, um, mainly because of its aggressive looks. Uh, I finally got my hands on one of these, so I'm pretty excited about that. This knife, I'm sure you guys know, is very similar to the Civilian by Spyderco, uh, except this is kind of a lot cheaper than the Spyderco. If you're wanting to get a Spyderco but don't want to spend that much money, uh, you can pick this one up. It's still pretty pricey. It's about 110 bucks, but it is uh, cheaper than the the civilian there. So uh, let's check it out here. All right. So first off, this thing is a big, big knife. Uh, it is five and a half inches long, which I knew it was it was gonna be a big knife. But when I actually got it, I was like, holy shit, this thing is pretty damn huge. Uh, I originally wanted it for everyday carry, just because it is. A scary looking knife but um, I'm not really sure if I'll, I'm gonna be comfortable carrying such a big knife in my pocket every day I am gonna wear it for a while test it out and see what happens all right so as you can see it has the g10 scales that go along you know the front and back of this knife as far as the pocket clip goes it you can switch it from left to right it is a tip up carry there is no option of making it a tip down carry. As far as the clip goes, it is a fairly small clip for a knife this size. The clip is very sturdy, it is very well made, but it is also very stiff. I mean, I can't even pull this open with my finger. Uh, it's not such a problem when you're putting it in your pants, but it is a little stiffer than I would like for it to be. Uh, I also wish it was a little bit longer just to you know be a little bit more secure in your pocket maybe over time uh, the clip will loosen up just a little bit to be able to slide it in and out smoothly out of the pocket so on the end here we have a hole for for a lanyard or whatever you want to clip on there all right let's check out the blade here all right so as you can see this thing is very very aggressive looking uh, just like the name says it talon it looks like a talon it is a very nice looking knife. As you saw from the intro, this thing definitely cuts. It comes super sharp, as most all cold steel knives do. Uh, this is no exception. It has the finger grooves there, which fit really nice in your hand. Uh, a little bit of jimping in the back. It's not too aggressive, but it does feel good in your hand just because the handle is so big. So you can definitely get a very tight grip on this without feeling like it's gonna come out of your hand. Uh, even if you have to slice something, you know, very thick um, with an aggressive movement, it doesn't feel like it's going to come out of your hands at all. As far as the play goes, there is absolutely no play. It feels really, really good. The triad lock, as you can hear, it locks really good. I love these locks. Uh, these are one of the locks that definitely feel like you know, once they lock, they're definitely not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about possibly it closing on you. That definitely feels really good. All right, so as far as opening it, it does have a thumb plate, which makes it very easy to open. It also does have a super smooth opening. It locks great. As you can see, you know, the blade style is very aggressive. It's uh, really wicked looking. That's probably the main reason why I picked this up. Just because I wanted something very aggressive. Uh, maybe use it for definitely for self-defense. Uh, I picked the one with the serrations on it. This does come in two variations. The serrations or the straight edge. But I thought the serrations were looked way more aggressive. Especially for a knife like this. You're not going to be using it to... You're probably not going to be using this like for small tasks like opening boxes and stuff like that. If you're going to tear some shit out of some boxes, then this would be perfect for it. But just opening packages or something like that, you might be pulling out a smaller knife. So I figured, you know, can't go wrong with the serrations, you know, on an aggressive knife like this. You want it to look as badass as possible. And I thought this knife definitely looked badass and wicked. And you pull this knife out and I don't think anybody's going to mess with you, of course, unless they have a gun. But... But this is definitely a great self-defense knife. That point there on the end also is very, very sharp. Very good for actually stabbing into things. So this knife is very sharp, very aggressive, especially if you're going to jam it into something and pull. As 
you can see, it definitely does a lot of damage. Now the blade itself is four inches long, so it is a nice, huge, big blade if you're looking for something this huge. The overall length of this knife is nine and a half inches long, so this thing is a beast. Now, like I said, I personally picked this up for everyday carry, but now that I have it in my hand, I am not sure if I'm gonna be carrying something this big around in my pocket. I will test this out for about a couple weeks and see if I can um, deal with that because I also have my cell phone and a bunch of other stuff in my pocket. So I don't know how that this is gonna fit in there, but I will test it out. Overall, this is a very well-built, aggressive knife. So if you're looking for something very aggressive, very sharp, uh, something that'll definitely scare people, this is a good one to get. Now you've all seen that video that talks about what knives you don't hand to people. I'm gonna say this definitely goes in that category. Even though it has a simple opening, you probably do not want to hand this to somebody just because of the sharp and the blade style. It's very easy to cut yourself with this thing, like if you're sitting there playing around with it. So yeah, this definitely is one of those knives you do not hand to people. The steel on this is the S35EN steel. It is made in Taiwan. Another very nice well-built knife by Cold Steel. I'm definitely liking Cold Steel lately. They have a lot of very good looking knives. Aggressive looking, they're coming out super sharp out of the box. So big thumbs up to Cold Steel for what they're doing. All right, so that was a Black Talon 2 from Cold Steel. Awesome looking knife, very wicked, very aggressive. Uh, definitely a great knife for self-defense. So that was it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.